Afi, the ape, mm -hmm. and uh, he came for Christmas when my father was three with a banana in his arm. Oh. Okay. Das ist Kurt. Ach, Kurt, Kurt. hieß gar nicht Rudi. Ah, Kurt. Kurt. Das das ist, ist, this is the pet of my mother. So. And they are friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, jetzt geht das Ganze dir. Did you in house story you want to share about them? They love each other and sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> Our parents met in Copenhagen and uh, they fell in love and I think it was uh, the love um, for both of them. Well, they told each other again and again, you know, it's the only love in their life. When I met my wife Elizabeth and fell in love with her, the joy of life came to me and uh, never left me. I don't remember uh, any real quarrel uh, mm. between men and wife or mm. husbands. Uh, they always talk with deep love. Für uns ist es für uns ist es sehr beeindruckend, wie unser Freund Jürgen trotz seiner sehr schweren Kindheit, also vor allem in Jugendzeit im Dritten Reich im Krieg wo er noch Gott geschrien hat auch, wie er sagt, dass er das so ein lebensfroher Mensch, ein genussfreudiger Mensch geworden ist. Und ich glaube, die Freude spielt in seinem Leben eine ganz große Rolle, auch in dem Leben mit, mit Elisabeth, das war ja sehr wichtig. I am grateful for my wife Elizabeth in the development of her feminist theology. What can the Christian God offer to women? Where are other God images we can refer on who are integrating, liberating, healing, and reconciling? Who can teach us to accept and love us? In the beginning of uh, Christianity, in the early churches, uh, women were full accepted. Uh, Jesus had close connections to all kinds of women, wealthy women, poor women, discriminated women. I think uh, there was something of this liberating gospel working. Professor Moltmann will uh, have a speak about the contribution of feminist theology from the perspective uh, of Elizabeth Moltmann Wendell. My speech will be inadequate. I hope she will forgive me and is curious to know 
what I am going to say about her theology. We were also uh, good friends with Elizabeth, and um, I noticed that they have had a very strong relation, very strong relation. And um, this is the dialectic of a good relation. So um, if you have a very strong relation, uh, death causes immense suffering. Early and uh, still I feel the joy of her presence. Uh, and, uh, I'm convinced uh, she was resurrected in eternal life. She is uh, present in a second uh, way of presence. It's oft bei uns im, im Garten und wir essen was Schönes oder bei uns äh, ähm, einfach in unserem gemütlichen Essstüble mit Elisabeth auch zusammen natürlich. Das war immer sehr, sehr schön. Und jetzt, wo sie nicht mehr leiblich da ist, ist sie dennoch sehr präsent und ich denke immer noch, ein Platz für Sie ist frei mit Blumen, mit einer Kerze und wir haben das Gefühl, sie ist mitten unter uns, Elisabeth. Und was uns verbindet, ist eben auch, er und Elisabeth, das waren oder sind noch, sind noch auch jetzt große Liebende. Grief is a way of love uh, at night uh, grief overcomes me then elizabeth is near to me simu holai shi changqi wo bing le so yi ta ye jing li pei ban de yi zhong tong gu ich bin da gekommen weil die Töchter hat mich gesucht für Frau Moldmann, weil sie ist einfach so sehr krank. Warum ich habe ja gesagt, wenn ich habe diese zwei Menschen, Frau Moldmann und Herr Moldmann, in einer schweren Situation gesehen und ich habe gemerkt, welche große Liebe und welche große Verbindung ist zwischen zwei Menschen und wie viel Hilfe braucht noch weiter zu gehen im Leben? Also, da tut man ja auch in Ungarn, she is all my life. Und dann hat er auch gesagt, dass er die Hütte über 60 Jahre alt ist. Mein Vater war der, der aus dem Haus geht, die Geld verdient. Und meine Mutter war der, der das war wirklich wie in alten Zeiten. Sie war looking after the four children. So this is something that changed after my mother died. And by now he, he loves to be accompanied by mm. us. When my mother uh, was still alive, uh, she was the one, uh, uh, you could tell all your problems and sorrows and so on. And now he's the one. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's got a very white heart <laughs> and a big ear. He is a very good father and mother by now. Mm. Uh, Jürgen recovered. One day I said, Jürgen, I think I've found your secret. Uh, you have to write every day and you have to travel every month to another country. And he laughed on the phone and said, yes, you found my secret. This also helps you to live with losses. 
without losing the sadness, but you bring the perspectives in a broader realm, you see that we are um, only for some time on this earth, that our fleshly life, as Paul says, is finite and limited, but this is only part of the story. forward to eternal life and a reunion with my wife Elizabeth and uh, in the kingdom of God will be joyful. So I hope is positive. So I Los to death, courage to live. 有几次啊、哦，我在莫老师的神情啊、哦，看到师母的神情。Ich weiß noch, wie, also wie die Angriffe waren auf Hamburg 1943. Da kam man mal zu Fuß aus der Stadt. Die Bahnen fuhren ja nicht mehr. Und、äh, drei Stunden kam er angewandert und dann、äh, setzte er sich auf unseren Eierflaumenbaum ja, und、äh, wollte dafür sich sein.、Also、das war so richtig seine Flucht ins Innere. Und dann musste er abends noch wieder zurück.、Ne? Es ist auch nicht vorstellbar dieses ja dieses Bild. Er ist doch noch eigentlich ein Kind gewesen, als sie da diesen Bombenhagel ausgesetzt waren. And then、uh, I was 16, and、uh, we the whole class was from school was drafted to the anti-aircraft batteries in Hamburg in、uh, 43, and、um, we were. Studying at day and standing on guard at the guns at night, waiting for the Royal Air Force, and、uh, didn't come. But then they came, and it was one week of bombing of Hamburg, and、uh, in '43, and the firestorm went through Hamburg, and I was in the midst of it and survived,、uh, while many of my friends and classmates died around me. So since that time, my question is, why am I not dead as they were? Why am I alive? Well, then I was brought、uh, to, the, to the front、uh, only for, for a few months and、uh, had learned enough of English to say to the first Canadian troops in the Reichswald, "I surrender," and、uh, was brought then to prison camps. Unfortunately, a little bit too long, three and a half years. First in Belgium, then in Scotland, and then in England. And in these years of desperation,、uh, I found. A faith in a Christian community and hope, which surpasses the. Well, and so I became, perhaps a Christian, trying to understand、uh, the mysteries of my my survival in my life, and became a theologian and came out of the prison camps、uh, with the intention to study theology. The release was a liberation. And、uh, was full of joy. Das ist Jürgen und das bin ich. Ja. Das ist vor dem Haus im Berge 36. Nee, meine Tante nannte das das Haus in der Sonne und sie sagte auch im Haus im Holzmann ist immer lachen. Ja, ach so, wenn wir <lacht> auf dem Spielplatz gewesen waren. Ja. Dann riefen die Eltern die Namen der Kinder Jürgen, Marianne oder hörte man das über die ganze Entfernung bis zum Spielplatz? Es gab ja sonst keine keinen Lärm.、Ne? Und dann gab es im Sommer Abendbrot auf der Terrasse. Ja, und dann gab es Gurkenbrot und Tomatenbrot. 
und Sardellenpaste, die gibt es auch nicht mehr. Und Streichmettwurst, wir mussten ja so sehr sparen. Ist es die Recht, dass die in dem Film vorkommen? Ja, schön. Also wenn du das erlaubst, dass all diese herrlichen Scherenschnitte damit reinkommen, denn die sind hier sehr beeindruckt davon. Das ist ein, das ich, ich muss auch sagen, geben. das ist ein äh, einmaliger Schatz. Ja. ja, ich hüte die, ja. bis ich tot bin und dann kriegst du Sanne die. Und ja, dann, er hat ja, ja immer unsere Familie dargestellt. Und deswegen sind die für mich von einem unglaublichen Wert. Oben übrig Geige. Okay. Und darunter sitzt meine Mutter an einem Tisch und äh, schreibt an meinen Vater Briefe nach Russland. Und meine kleine Schwester sitzt auf dem Töpfchen. Und äh, Eckert ist immer draußen, das spielt da mit, und sitzt da auf dem Schlitten. Und Jürgen ist hier im Keller, im Luftschutzkeller, wo wir diese Betten hatten. Und sehe ich mit der Laubsäge. Ne? Da müssen Sie mal gucken, wie, wie unglaublich fein das gemacht ist. Mein Vater hatte auch ein Motorrad und wollte wegfahren. Jürgen macht ihm da die Tür auf, die Gartentür. Und dahinter sitzt Eckert. Und das war ein Schlingel und er hatte ihm eine Pumpe durch das, die Räder gesteckt und dann konnte mein Vater nicht weg. <lacht> I saw paper art and imitated and uh, I choose family situations in uh, my home. Immer ein guter Bruder und ein, also wir haben uns immer gut verstanden. Also er ist äh, großzügig und er sagt ja auch, äh, Verschwenderisch leben, das ist so sein Motto. Und so war unsere Mutter auch. Er hat viel, also auch in dem, mit dem Optimismus von unserer Mutter. The family life during the Nazi dictatorship was very close and saved you from the commands. We had no uh, radio and TV, and uh, so we played on um, uh, weekends for ourselves. Und in unserer Siedlung hatten wir eine richtige Gemeinschaft mm -hmm. mit einem großen Spielplatz. Und da waren eben auch Feste und 1936 eine Olympiade. Da ist ja. Jürgen mit dem Stab hochgesprungen, 2,40 Meter und 40 gesprungen. Mal Sports developed, not further, I have no long legs. Der Vater war ja. sehr nachdenklich und sehr selbstkritisch. Okay. My father was drafted in the beginning days of the Second World War in 1939 and stayed away until uh, 46 when he was released from a French prison camp. Because of his absence, we, Mariana and I, must take the gardening mm. and uh, the shopping, and must do uh, his jobs. While our father was serving as a soldier. My brother took part of my education, tried to educate me in mathematics and in English. 
without much success. Uh, always try to threaten me if I don't do it right. I get something behind my head. But finally it worked. I matured and he matured. My father was a big man and uh, authoritarian in, uh, over his family. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, my brother and I uh, escaped from <laughs> the authority of my father. Uh, I always admired him very much because he was the older one. Uh, when he came back as prisoner of war, he came from England and he bought me a tennis racket and a gramophone. So of course, you know, this was my admiration when he came back. And uh, uh, sure enough, uh, he went a different way, which I admired. You know, he studied theology and I went my way uh, different, but we always respected each other very much. And uh, uh, now we, and what we had together was a very nice childhood with our parents. A great mother, a very uh, tough father. That's more or less what it is. It formed us. Und als er dann älter wurde, hat er physikalische Experimente gemacht. Und oben in seinem Zimmer hat er ein Detek Detektorradio. Und er hat tatsächlich einen Empfang, einen Radioempfang da hergestellt. In seinen Lebenserinnerungen erwähnt Jürgen Moltmann, dass er eigentlich Mathematik studieren wollte und Physik und, und, und daher und, und seine, in, sein Interesse für die Fächer, die hat er bis heute behalten und, und insofern können wir uns sehr gut unterhalten, also auch ich als Mathematiker. Einstein and Heisenberg mm -hmm. uh, were my heroes mm -hmm. and uh, I should have gone uh, in the science and academic world. Uh, so I was looking for an alternative to my father. I wouldn't follow my father. He, he was a gymnasium teacher in Latin and German and history. God has found him when he was a prisoner uh, of war. Then he encountered Christian faith as something that transformed uh, his entire life. After Auschwitz, the Word of God is uh, different from before. Theology is uh, related to the life and death experiences of people. He spoke out of personal engagement with faith and was able to articulate faith as an accompaniment of our personal and structural, structural political, economic lives. But what struck Maltman among the Scottish Christians he encountered um, was their forgiveness. Um, and he was deeply influenced by the way that they 
treated him. Um, and the two themes that he identifies as coming out of that experience were first of all the, the theme of suffering, of course, um, but also the theme of hope in suffering. Um, and really the theme of hope led to his first major book, Theology of Hope. You see, it was a time uh, of the civil rights movement in the United States of America. A new dream was born, uh, the dream of Martin Luther King uh, in, in, in Washington in uh, 63. And John F. Kennedy, The New Frontiers. There was uh, coming a new socialism with a human face in Czechoslovakia in East Europe. And uh, there was Vaticanum II uh, in the Roman Catholic Church and uh, the ecumenical movement uh, came from one peak to another. At that time, we turned around to the other side uh, to show how the hope in the coming kingdom of God, the new creation, can influence our behavior here. And I think the category of promise that was so fundamental to this theology, theology of hope is based on the basic conviction that the future comes to us not because it is the present is pregnant, present and past and present are pregnant with the future, but rather that there is a possibility of something new that cannot be simply extrapolated out of the conditions of the situation in which we are now. That's a really a very important uh, idea that comes with the resurrection of Christ. Theology of hope uh, was an uh, idea arose, in uh, as far as I understand, in conversation with, uh, with Ernst Bloch's. Ernst Bloch and Franz Rosenzweig are so Jewish thinkers, the uh, stern der Erlösung, star of redemption, is uh, an treasure of good theological idea. Ernst Bloch encouraged me through the theology of hope. Moltmann's book was actually not a book about eschatology in that sense, but a book about the eschatological orientation of the whole of theology. The major thing that Moltmann's early theology did um, to the theological world and beyond that to the Christian world that he eventually had a, a lot of influence on uh, was this orientation towards hope for the future. The other side of the coin um, led to his second major book, The Crucified God, um, which took up, I think, the, the way in which Mottman says he was aware of Jesus as his companion in suffering um, uh, during, the, during that period, um, which turns into, in the crucified God, a sense in which Jesus as the crucified God is in solidarity with, with all the suffering. Um, so those two sort of dominant early themes in his theology, one can't imagine Maltman's theology without those two themes that uh, what, what I learned, especially from the crucified God, is, um, is, is this uh, fundamental orientation toward the victim. Uh, generally, theology has uh, always uh, had the sense that crucifixion, somehow in crucifixion, one finds the solace to various um, uh, afflictions that we that we experience. Now Maltman has elevated that to a higher register uh, in a sense because uh, he spoke of the suffering God uh, so that this uh, pain of history is taken up into the into the very life of God. Um, I think this consequence of the Trinitarian notion of God uh, and it's also consequence of God as kind of radical love uh, that engages uh, always with the, with the world. Uh, I radicalized Luther's theology of the cross by speaking of God as a victim of power and violence and injustice. And we see in the crucifixion of Christ the powers of evil in this 
world. We see the love of God in patience and endurance in the crucified. Man was, um, was following the uh, kind of central events of the last week of Christ's life and the beginning uh, of, of the church. So um, theology of hope was followed by what preceded, uh, uh, based, uh, connected with resurrection, uh, was followed by what preceded resurrection, namely a crucifixion, and that was followed by the Pentecost church in the power of the Holy Spirit. So there is this um, internal coherence of these three books in the, in, uh, based on the Christ, Christ life. The Holy Spirit in creation and the Holy Spirit in the life of the uh, Jesus and the way of Jesus and the Holy Spirit is a spirit of life and uh, the Holy Spirit uh, pushing everything to perfection in the new creation. Akademische Theologen sind häufig nur Religionswissenschaftler. Aber er ist ein Theologe, der von Gott spricht. Und das ist etwas Besonderes, auch hier in der evangelischen Theologie, weswegen er auch eine bestimmte Sonderstellung hier und auch in Deutschland eingenommen hat. Und das ist das Beeindruckende an, an Jürgen Moltmann.那在那样的一个环境之下然后卷了三个波浪来讲就业的天使也是认知上帝所造的一切，啊，认识人，认识啊，呃，人情世故。Theology is intelligence uh, of faith, and faith is not a set of beliefs that we embrace against evidence. Faith is actually kind of existential act of committing our entirety of our lives to live in the light of who God is and with the presence of God in our lives. For him it was important that theology isn't just about life and theologian's life accompanies the life which theologian articulates. 
呃，在政治实践和社会实践的这个维度，主要还是由呃莫尔特曼教授所开创，就是整个的政治神学，呃，以及十字架神学。呃，对，呃，整个的第三世界的解放神学，对民众神学，对韩国的神学，甚至东南亚的台湾的神学，呃，都有很重要的影响。But he is one of the great theologians of the 20th century among these big names of uh, um, uh, Bart and uh, Bonhoeffer and Tilly. 从卡尔巴特到彭菲尔到莫尔特曼，这是呃一个非常。呃，主流的一个德国新教神学的脉络。He developed a content-based theology, not just method, but contents. And he had a, a wonderful intuition to see what contents of theology are most helpful in our day. So、uh, he develops a theology that is, on the one hand, based on Important theological topics, and on the other hand, contemporary,、um, vigilant, and critical. 八十年代以后的，呃，思想当中，它就会表现出非凡的创造力和活力。啊，他会关注到很多很多的，就是，呃，当代西方甚至当代人类面临的一些问题啊，像经济危机的问题、生态危机的问题，啊，就是女性压迫的问题等等。然后对这些问题领域，他都会基于一个神学家的责任感和和他的智慧出发，然后去去进行相关的哲学思考。From Jürgen, that、um, uh, emotions、yes. are absolutely central、uh, for us. It cannot be、uh, intellect simply. It cannot be will simply, right? So the kind of this dialectic of intellect and will that dominates quite quite a bit、uh, of theology. I think we need to go、uh, a bit deeper than that and look at the kind of emotional、uh, tonality of our, of our lives. And emotions, I take them to be judgments,、yeah. to be pregnant with uh, with uh, with theology, to be pregnant with,、uh, with 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 kind of sets of、uh, sets of beliefs that they refract in themselves a whole way of life. His kind of that kind of intellectual vigor, his kind of that kind of warmth, his kind of that kind of human kind. 这种拥抱式的一种这个提升，我觉得需要不断的去读。其实我都能感受到他这个语言方面这形式的美感啊，就是只有特别有激情、有好奇心、有永不衰竭的这种追求学术的热情的人，才能写出这样的文字。所以我就觉得，呃，我也是陶醉其中。Because the kingdom of God is so fascinating, is the future of human history and natural history.、Uh, otherwise, we have catastrophic apocalypse and.、Uh, The kingdom of God is the yes of God、uh, to this world and life in this world. And Jung Moltmann's theology satisfied my longings for a good theology. That tried to be realistic on the one hand, but also touched on these deep issues of faith. I tried to、uh, develop this、um, uh, maybe a little bit further in our dialogues with、uh, science, with、um, law, with、um, economy, and so on. As he developed the theology of the cross, his theology of solidarity.、Um, Solidarity with victims, and I always thought, well, there are two sides of the victimhood. 
uh, there is a victim and there is also a victimizer. We need to develop theology for the victims, theology of solidarity with those who suffer, but we also need to develop the theology of the good news for those who perpetrate. As, an, as it turns out in our lives, we are for the most part always both uh, little victims and little perpetrators, sometimes big victims, sometimes big perpetrators, but both sides are important in our experience. So I was trying to develop this idea. So that's what the Christian story of Christian faith is also fundamentally about, because God is the God of unconditional love. Eine Zusammenstellung der Doktorarbeiten, die über Moltmann geschrieben wurden. Und äh, da, die habe ich äh, vor einiger Zeit ergänzt durch neuere. Und, und die ist auch im Netz jetzt vorhanden. Und diese Liste umfasst jetzt über 450 <lacht> Dissertationen oh weltweit. Oh je. Über Jürgen Moltmann. His work, I teach his work to my to my students. Uh, I think Jürgen continues to be important. I find that a lot of my students resonate really well uh, with his work. And I had 60 doctoral students from 15 countries. And I think partly also because I was an assistant of Moltmann and that I grew into these uh, 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 connections to Korea, to China, others I developed on my own. Life must be loved and lived in spite of the dangers and catastrophes. Yeah, in, in the future, we must say yes to life under said circumstances. One of the most impressive things for me was I was together with him, I'm not sure exactly what year it was, but one year at the Beijing Forum. He was the main speaker, addressed the whole, uh, whole uh, forum and the plenary address. When we came to this uh, large uh, gathering, maybe 3,000 people were present. Uh, it's a huge gathering from all around the world. Most of them were not theologians. Most of them, by far most of them, were not Christians at all. And he gave this uh, address, address in which I could recognize all the important features of his Christian theology. Uh, and when he finished, there was a standing ovation. Everybody was excited about the speech and uh, I thought, oh, it's absolutely amazing. 摩尔特曼还有一个我觉得从根本上讲的非中心的一个逻辑不是说非欧洲中心因为我们在批评欧洲中心西方中心的时候其实我们骨子里也可能有一种我们的自我中心就是人类自我中心是我觉得神学就提
他才可能对未来永远充满了一种真正的希望。我觉得他有一个基本的一个呃思考的出发点和问题的背景，其实从根本上讲，在我看来，跟中国学者学者真的有点相似。这就是莫特曼教授自己曾经谈到他在二战后期的那个特殊的经历。因为我觉得有时候在跟欧洲学者对话的时候，我觉得我需要一个类似的能够被分享的一个。一个一个一个问题背景啊，这问题背景，他们有时候说这个一个 traumatic event， 对对一个 traumatic event 对欧洲人来说可能是二战，对中国人来说，对我这一代读书人来说就是文化大革命。呃，我自己一直是把文化大革命当成一个中国读书人独立思考的一个起点，就像二战最后逼的摩尔特曼教授这样的人去思考神学啊，去读神学，最后变成了这么重要的一个神学家。所以他们的这个经历和我自己的这种体验，哈，我真的觉得就是这个，呃呃 ，Alan Badiou 这样的法国哲学家，他们有一个话题，其实是能呼应这种问题背景，就是其实我们的思思想不是我们这个自动的思想，他叫 We do not think， 呃呃 ，simultaneously，we are forced to think。布尔德曼跟研究所是同路人，从一开始。甚至乎研究所还没有诞生的时候，他已经跟我们一块。一九九四年的第一本书，呃，也见证了我们呃汉语神学的一个的转身啊，摆脱了一般传统意义的呃荣耀基督的这种的形象，而且是带出一个受苦的基督的这个形象。形象，汉语神学其实在香港大概八零年代也相当有名。然然后我印象第一个。介绍潘万神学的应该就是温伟耀教授吧。在那个八十年代，从英国念完书回来香港的时候，开始那个在呃教神学方面嘛啊，因为我在英国啊的研究呢，就是关于德国的哲学，所以我对德语系的那个神学啊那方面当然就比较熟识，而且呢觉得啊比较啊应该。对香港更多的介绍这方面，那么莫德曼当然当年已经是一个很重要的一个神学家啊，那么所以呢，我就在我的讲课里面有提到他，他用德语来写作吧啊，所以很多时候英文呢还没出来啊，中文的翻译更加都差不多没有，所以那个时候我就看德语，所以我就特意的把一些他的文章啊啊。他比较重要的书啊、概念啊，都都都写出来。八十年代在香港还是那个经济起飞了啊啊，那么当然也开始讲到那个九七人的那种的思维啊，有很大的这个啊变化，也有不安顿吧啊啊。那么所以呢，我就在这方面呢，盼望是很重要的。一次见面的时候，他说 “surprise”， 意思有很多，意思说最实在的是我还在啊，我虽虽然九十多岁，但是我还在，很惊讶。呃，我们想不到的，我们想想到这么老人家不好意思要要罗董你要邀请你要坐飞机要过来，但是只要我们提出要求，他还是呃丰丰丰富富的满足我们的要求。呃，他老人家跟我们合作。从来都是他掏掏钱，自己买飞机票。呃，如果我们的稿费不够给译者，他愿意补贴稿费给译者，目的目的就是要这个书来出版。然后这个书的版权，他一直要求德方的出版社来尽量免费或是最低的版税，让我们能用最低的成本来出版。我说他学关中师是不是不是夸张？是因为他晚年时候还在研究我们《道德经》，而且尝试吸收《道德经》的这种思想资源，来继续建构他的神学的这个的架构。I feel neighborhood of. Tao Te Ching in the Bible. Uh, uh, I gave 
every lecture in Taiwan I ordered and supervised doctoral studies with the Tao Te Ching nature understanding and the biblical understanding of creation. Those who rule must serve and this is the idea of Jesus as well and general, general idea of compassion and uh, patience. For the past 20 years, he has been constantly working with us, through the book, through the conversation, through the research, 共同来培训年轻的一代参与这个汉语神学运动。莫老师对汉语神学的运动，整个汉语神学的理念，他是很清楚的，而且他很支持、很鼓励。最近他语重心长地跟我说，呃，他觉得他已经为我们汉语神学运动栽培了一些人才啊，呃，希望这些人人才也会继续的在我们这一代的基础上呢，继续推动整个汉语神学。所以我们非常感恩有穆尔德曼这位老先生。He is young at heart, young at mind. He is a brilliant theologian, but he is also a wonderful human being. He doesn't like conflicts. And、uh, very, very、uh, important, he never speaks badly about others. The best boss ever. <laughs> <laughs> What is really great about him, he encourages you. To develop yourself, I came as a 26-year-old, and I had to teach at university, give seminars, and I was very,、um, I was unsure whether I could do that. And he always encouraged me, and because of that, I learned to do it. So,、um, and in the end, it was no problem. He's really a very、um, a positive、um, person, I think.、Um, he appreciates. And sees what you can do, and、um, that makes you do it. Our relation was、um, always a very free relation. I never had this feeling of obedience, or uh, uh,、um, it was a mutual encouragement and a, a, a mutual friendship.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, and as I said, he he would never say, "Come to my lecture and sit in the first."、Uh, Uh, uh, row and、um, do this or that.、Um, he he just encouraged me to develop、mm -hmm. myself, and he also rejoiced in my success. I had an enormous teaching success in uh, uh, Tübingen, and、uh, and he never said, "Oh, he has、uh, so many students," and、uh, a feeling of envy that uh, uh, other colleagues、uh, expressed to me.、Um, that was wonderful. The、Jürgen Moltmann is one of the most important conversation partners that I have in developing of my own uh, theology. Uh, especially important for me was、um, his work on the Trinity,、uh, 
And underlying this work, his work on Trinity, was his book on the crucified uh, God. And um, so the substantively, in terms of what he wrote, he influenced uh, me, but um, at the more at the level of the style of doing theology, at the level of what theology is concerned, uh, there I think the influence is also uh, very, uh, very significant because uh, I mentioned earlier that he wanted to be always concrete, but he also wanted to take issues that moved people, that presented uh, a kind of contemporary problems and then shed the light of the gospel. Jürgen is my intellectual father, like my father is my spiritual father. He's my doctor father, yeah. <laughs>
go war and justice to violence and love to hate. This is creative and uh, the creativity uh, potential in every human being. And uh, I want to awaken the, the, this, this creativity in every person.